Welcome to the 3Design homepage. At the top of the page are six icons, quick orientation, news link for the latest 3Design news, direct link to the 3Design forum, this icon returns you to this homepage, and then you can connect to the 3Design Facebook page and 3Design YouTube channel. The centre of the screen are two icons. The first, open an existing document. The second, to start a new document. Just below those icons will be shortcut links to the last six documents you have saved. Left click on this icon to start a new document. At the centre of the screen is the 3Design workspace. Use the middle mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Right click and drag to rotate your view. In the bottom left hand corner of the workspace is the 3Design compass. Left click on the compass to access predefined views. In the bottom right hand corner is a pop-up tool menu with some more functions to investigate later on. On either side of the workspace are four windows. The top right window contains your toolbox. An icon for every tool is located here, each in subcategories that can be expanded or collapsed by clicking on the text. Under the heading Solid Figures, Hold your mouse over the sphere icon. Holding your mouse over an icon will update the help menu to tell you what the tool is and how to go about using it. We're going to create the sphere, so left click on the sphere icon. Left clicking on an icon in the toolbox will open its properties in the properties window. Here we can input the specific parameters for the tool that we've selected. Clicking in the box, we're going to rename this as ball. Next to the materials, you'll notice a white hand. The white hand means that you can choose something. Left clicking on the hand will turn it red, meaning it's awaiting your choice. In this case, the materials database has opened up, allowing us to choose a material. We're going to go through to precious metals, 18 karat folder, and double click on 18 karat yellow gold. Next are three empty boxes, X, Y, and Z. We're going to enter zero into each of them by left clicking on the centering icon found at the bottom of properties. Next we need to enter a radius or diameter measurement for the sphere. Let's choose a diameter of 6 and press tab on the keyboard to accept the information and bring up a preview in the workspace. There is also some colour coded arrows and a little red ball. The red ball is a handle, in this case controlling the diameter measurement. Whenever you see a red ball in 3Design, you can left click to be able to drag the handle to adjust the measurement by eye. Each of the colour coded arrows represent an axis. Red for X, green for Y, blue for Z. Left clicking and dragging the arrow allows us to adjust our position by eye. Grabbing the pane between the arrows allows us to move in two axes at the same time. And you can always click on the centering button to reposition back at the origin. Click on the big green tick to accept the information or press return on your keyboard. 
There is now a 6mm 18 karat yellow gold sphere in the centre of the workspace. In the top left window is the history tree. In the tree you will find the sphere we just created, labelled as 4. Most everything you do in 3Design will be logged into this tree. At any stage, you can double click on an item in the tree and modify and refine its properties. Let's change the X measurement for our ball to 15mm. And validate. Now, as we rotate around the screen and zoom in and zoom out, you'll notice that we are zooming past the sphere. The camera is still pointed at the origin. In this case, we're going to right click on the sphere and that opens up another menu. If we select zoom on, this will reposition our camera to point at the object. Also in this menu, we have the ability to hide our object. A hidden object disappears from the workspace. We can find it in the tree with a little ghost next to it. Now, we can't see it and we can't select it in the workspace. Make it visible again, we need to right click on the item in the tree and show. You'll also notice that we can freeze our object. A frozen item turns transparent blue and will show a little snowflake in the tree. Now, we can't select it in the workspace. So, to be able to select it again, we need to right click in the tree and show our object. There are a few more ways we can manipulate the workspace. Clicking both mouse buttons at the same time will allow us to pan the screen. And we can also alt and right mouse button drag a marquee window to focus on a specific spot. And at any stage, we can right click on a plane and zoom on to recenter the view. The windows on either side of the workspace can be modified to suit your needs. Left click and drag the handles to adjust the size. Click on the plug to detach to make floating windows. And click on the plug to reattach or just click on the X. Another thing you can do is to combine the windows into the one space by creating a new editor. I can put my tools over here next to my tree. Down here we can create the help menu. We can add these by creating a new editor or we can take them away just by clicking on the red X. Lastly, you'll find a handle right at the bottom of the workspace. By left clicking and dragging this up, you'll reveal the Thread Design library. We'll get into that in further detail later on. Now that we understand the Thread Design workspace, let's make something a little more interesting. <laughs> 